everyone, Uncle Jess here. It's time to bust out your sling ring as well as your favorite book of spells because today we're going to be unboxing and checking out the Eye of Amagato replica prop from Hasbro Toys here on the channel. Very excited about this. It's only 50 bucks for this illuminating replica prop and stand and we're going to be comparing it against a 3D printed version of the same toy replica prop that I created, I don't know, three or four years ago. So I pre-ordered this about three or four months ago over on Amazon. It was delayed and finally has shipped out to me here, which is why I'm finally now getting to unboxing it for you all. This is another one of the Hasbro replica prop series of uh, toys that they've made where it's just replicating some of the things that you've seen across the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I have a number of those on display behind me or I have in the past and shown those off. So very excited to show this one here. Uh, I can already tell right away by just touching the very first piece. It is definitely some, uh, not some high quality plastic that we're going to be working with here, but for 50 bucks, it can't be too bad, but everything's well packaged. And basically you have four different components for this. You have the actual wearable piece here that looks really nicely done, actually. Then we have part of the stand that's going to hold it inside this little piece of paper, I'm assuming is going to be the jewel there or the time stone, I should say. And then this is the bottom of the stand. All right, so I'm gonna assemble the base of this, which should just more or less snap together. I don't think there's really any big seat. Yeah, there's uh, just some grooves that they're gonna align and snap that into place there. Again, this is, I'm not expecting much for 50 bucks. So this would be something that, it's already weathered, but I think with a little bit more effort, you could probably make this look really good. Oh, there we go. I didn't even have it snapped into place all the way. And I did take a quick peek at the instructions that come with it. And before I insert the jewel or even install the battery, this is really wild here. The front portion of this can be turned. And then there's a button at the very top that you press. And the whole thing moves really cool. So it opens up in theory to show the jewel there. I keep calling it a jewel. It's the time stone, the time stone. And yeah, there's little plugs on the back of this as well. So this is gonna be an LED that's gonna light up. And I think there's a somewhat of a charge because I've seen pictures of it online where you can take it out and it's still illuminated there. So we'll get the batteries installed and then we'll check it out. And it does take two AAA batteries as well. Oh, okay, that is awesome. That is awesome. The, uh, actually the neck piece here is is very nice. It's uh, really nicely detailed as well with all the different colors and bands. It, uh, it does actually feel like some form of maybe a synthetic leather material that they used for this. All right, so I've got the batteries in here. Let's pop it open and check it out. It's so cool, it's so cool. Oh my goodness. And then there is a button on the back. I thought that button on the back was the power button. No, it's actually to pop the stone out. So you can press a button and it helps you pop this stone out and it stays illuminated here. I'm not sure entirely how long this will stay on. Also to insert it back in, it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world, but there are grooves along one side of the stone to help you align it with the pens, which is a very smart idea. And you just push it back into place. And then if you wanna close it, you're just gonna turn the front again to close it up. And then also what's great about it is for displaying this, you can put it on the stand here. And I think it just sits like this. Yeah, it's sitting, there we go. It's sitting in place and then at any point in time, you can press it to turn it on. Oh, it's so cool. I absolutely think this is wild. Love, love, love how simple this is and how well it actually looks. It lights up really nicely here and it's not just on camera, but in person, it's, it's very bright, a very bright green LED light. And I have my own 3D printed Eye of Amagato that you can download for free off of Thingiverse that has its own little turning mechanism there that controls the eye on the inside. The front pieces don't rotate or anything like that, but you could in theory put some sort of an LED light in there. And actually my eye piece isn't even <laughs> turning anymore, but clearly the one for $50 just hands down looks so much better 
than this one here that I initially made. And it has all of the LED incorporated into it, all of the wiring and a much nicer braid here instead of the little rope that I have wrapped around Thanos's neck here. But for 50 bucks, I'm very impressed with the quality of this particular prop. I mean, even compared to something typically when you can 3D print it and finish it, the quality is typically better than what you can find from something that you're gonna buy off the shelf from somewhere. But that at that price point and the quality that you're getting with it, even with a little bit of rub and buff, I might be able to make this pop even more, just weather it slightly more than it already is. But I'm loving the fact that I thought these were gonna be plastic. It's some sort of, like, I think it's like a synthetic leather material that they've got for the ropes. Uh, by the way, at the top here, you can pop it open there so you can easily snap or unsnap it around your neck. And I just love the fact that it's just running off of two AAA batteries and that you can actually pop the little time stone directly out of it and uh, use it as its own individual prop there. Now I pre-ordered mine off of Amazon as soon as it was initially announced and it was delayed to eternity and now has finally arrived in my hands. I'll have links down below to Amazon for that exact same listing. I believe as of right now, it's currently sold out, but if I remember correctly, it is available over on Walmart and Target and potentially GameStop. Again, I'll have links to all of those down below. So if you're interested in buying one of these for yourself, you can hopefully get one in time for the holidays. I'll also have links down below to Thingiverse where you can download the iBamagato that I initially printed. And I think it was from Black Ram Industries, if I remember correctly. And this was a Thanos bust that I printed from Thingiverse as well. And I think it was from Happy Moon? Man, it's been such a long time since I've even broken these out. They've been sort of sitting off to the side on the bottom shelf there. <laughs> But let me know down below if you'd consider buying one of these for yourself, because I think for 50 bucks, it's the perfect price point for a replica prop that has LEDs, some movement in it, and it has its own stand. That's really impressive. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now. I have no idea if I can find an effect that's gonna do the whole sling ring thing for this video. So it'll be interesting to see what I actually come up with here.